Hello everyone, I am Ms. Neha Vaar, Assistant Professor, Department of Botany at ASC College, Ramananda Nagar, Gori. Today we are going to discuss about concept of flower as a modified shoot and a structure of a typical flower. These are the contents of our discussion. This includes introduction to the concept of flower as a modified shoot, structure of typical flowers and functions of parts of the flower. So, let's begin with the flower as a modified shoot. The flower is generally defined as a highly specialized reproductive shoot. That means, a, it is a con flower is a contains modified shoot. Flowers are developed on a stem or branch either in terminal that is on the top of the stem or in the axillary that means at the lateral position of the stem or sometimes it can arise on even in extra axillary position. In the plant kingdom, the plants included in sub-kingdom Phanerogamia that means the plants are flowering plants. The reproductive organs are in the form of reproductive structure that is known as flower. It is the most conspicuous structure in the angiospermic flower. Angiospermic plant. The flower is considered as conspicuous structure of plant because it attracts all the pollinators and because of its bright color. So, what are the parts of a typical flower? We will see a typical flower has four main parts or four main whorls that are known as calyx, corolla, androsium and gynosium. The outermost whorl of the flower has a green leafy structure that are known as sepals. The sepals are collectively known as calyx and the calyx are green and leafy structure. The second whorl is comprised of petals, usually bright colored and Togetherly they called corolla and corolla attracts the pollinator. The third word contains the main reproductive structure and it is known as androsium. Androsium is known as the main reproductive structure in a plant. The fourth word contains the female reproductive structure and is known as the gynosium. The individual part of that gynosium is known as carpel or it is called as pistil. And this carpel is consists of three parts that is stigma, style and Oval. Stigma is the uppermost part of the gynosium. Style is this slender stalk and basal or, or elongated structure is known as oval. Next. So, if all these four words that is calyx, corolla, androsium, and gynosium are present in a flower, that flower is known as complete flower. If any one of these floral words is missing, that flower is known as incomplete flower. When Flowers contain both the sexes that is male sex and female sex that is androsium and gynosium. That flower is known as perfect flower or it is known as hermaphrodite or it is known as bisexual. Sometimes it is known as androgynous. Andro for androsium and gyno for gynosium. So these are the types of sexes of flower. So then when calyx and corolla are not distinguishable then that whorl is known as perian and individual member of that perian is known as tepal. So when calyx individual part is known as sepal. When come to corolla individual part is known as petal and when come to perian, perian is the undifferentiation of calyx and corolla then that whorl is known as perian and the individual member of that perian is known as Table. See these are the parts of flower. Look at this image. Uh, these green leafy structures are known as sepal. This collectively called calyx. And this color, red color, um, petals are known as corolla. And coming to this gynosium, it is consists of stigma, style, and oval. This uh, comprises pistil. The stigma is the uppermost part. Style is the stalk of the gynosium and basal swollen part is the ovary. Inside that ovary, ovules are present. After fertilization, that ovary will be converted into fruit and ovules in that ovary is get converted into seed. Next, main reproductive structure that is anther and filament. This forms stamen. The head like structure is known as anther and thread like structure is known as Filament. This filament is attached to the thalamus. And the stalk of flower is known as pedicel. If 
the stalk is present in that flower it is known as pedicellate flower if that stalk is absent then that flower is known as sessile flower and small green leafy outgrowth is known as bract it is at the base of the flower the four floral whorls of a typical flower can be classified into two major group that is accessory whorls and essential whorls so what is accessory whorls there are mainly two types of accessory whorls that is calyx and corolla why these are known as accessory whorls because they do not directly take part into the reproduction but indirectly they take part in reproduction why because it attracts pollinator and pollinators is the agent required for pollination and pollination is the initial step of reproduction so somehow indirectly that calyx and corolla take part in reproduction though they are accessory whorls next is essential whorls why it is known as essential whorls because the two inner whorls that is androecium and gynoecium directly takes part into the process of reproduction that's why they are known as essential whorls then what are the different parts of the flower and what are their functions now see in the diagram this is the longitudinal section of flower you can see this yellow color bright color are petals these are corolla these yellow colors are petals these green colors are sepal and at the center you can see the structure this is the gynoecium this is the zoom section of this gynoecium here you can see the basal swollen structure this is known as ovary and inside this present of ovule next this is the androecium you can see the zoom structure of androecium here this is the stalk of that androecium that is filament and this is the structure of anther this is this anther is a bio structure and this anther is connected with this stamen uh, let's see the functions of parts of the flower sepals so what is the function of sepal the se uh, function of sepal is to protect an open flower when flower is in bud condition the protection of that flower is carried out by sepals then petals petals may be brightly colored to attract insects and pollinators then next to stamen stamen is the individual part of androecium and it is a male reproductive part and it consists of anther held at the top and filament filament is a thread like structure anthers is the structure which produce male sex organs or male sex cells that is pollen grains the pollen grains are produced by anther then stigma stigma is the top of the female part of the flower which collects pollen grain so stigma acts as receiver for pollen grain then coming to the point ovary ovary produces female sex cells that is ovules then nectary nectary is a disc which produce nectar which attracts insects you might know many of the insects and pollinators visit flower because inside that flower nectar is present and which can be uh, edible to that insects and plants pollinators sorry so next is pedicel so what is pedicel pedicel is the stalk of flower and it holds individual flower in a proper place then thalamus thalamus is the receiver of ovary you can say it holds ovary in its proper position and it is a modified stem which possesses distinct nodes and internodes um from that nodes different parts of flower can arise like calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium so thalamus is the uh, place where ovary is reside or properly placed now in the next lecture we will detail we will see detailed structure of tetrasporin here and third